Hey everybody, Pay Marine here with a out of the box. It's been a while since I've done an out of the box video, but something happened that I just uh, had to do this. Now this probably won't be the first time you've probably seen this out of the box. It's uh, something that's been out for quite a while, but you haven't seen me do it yet, so it'll be a little bit different because, uh, uh, like I said, there's a few things, or uh, it's, it's just really special. Um, like I said, this box has been out for a, a while, but it sold out fast, and they were kind of disappearing. Um, and then the new area I moved to, they still had, there's like one store had like six on the shelf, and another had like three. But I was like, no, I, I got to focus on one army. I'm not going to, you know, even though it was like, a, I, you know, I had this army way in the past, and I had sold it, and I kind of regretted doing that. But I had heard that there was rumors of them revamping it, and all that but I don't know then I walked into a store today and there was a box sitting on the shelf if you haven't already guessed what I'm talking about <laughs> yes a Sisters of Battle army box set with this it has like that limited edition codex or whatever in it which is kind of here that's kind of here now there like it could have a regular codex in there for all I care um, but these box sets are usually a pretty good deal um, Especially the fact that it comes with the, the codex and everything. Um, I, I saw it and I had to grab it. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. So I'm definitely going to unbox it. You know, I've kind of already uh, kind of like looked on the back here. I, I mean, I've kind of known what comes in it. Um, I myself actually haven't watched any unboxing videos of this yet. Um, so this will be kind of it'll be interesting to see. Like I see things on the back and I already am kind of like pretty sure they're not the multi-part kits um because it is a box set um i'm kind of hoping i'm not kind of a lot of me is hoping 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 <laughs> hoping that the uh, the seraphim are multi-part which i'm pretty sure they won't because on the back here it looks like they all just have uh bolt pistols although um the uh, what do they call them? Not sergeants. The superior, uh, seraphim superior has a plasma pistol, um, but obviously, like, I'm hoping. I don't know if they. That'd be like pretty crazy if they do. Uh, but I'm hoping that they have like the uh, hand flamers and inferno pistols, um, because that's mostly what I would want to put on them, not bolt pistols. Um, so that way, you know, I can they can drop in and flame a bunch of things or anti-armor up some things pretty good and some close combat support in that regard um but i'm not sure if that's going to be the case but we'll see here we'll take a look so um let me rearrange this camera so you can get a better look and let's take a look at the contents here and uh we'll i guess get my reaction opinion as we go so see you in just a second Okay, so I'll try to rearrange this somewhat so you can see better. Maybe come back a little bit. Now I'm going to have to do this on my lap. I have kind of a limited space here. Um, I'm not sure why we're not focusing. There we go. All right. So I can kind of maybe adjust over a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to be doing this upside down for me, but you should be able to see um, on your side. Um, so yeah, let's dive into this here real quick. Oh man. Ooh. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna read the box contents. Uh, we have a all right, 112 page codex or codex adepta sororitas. Oh, excuse me. 80 Adeptus Sorority data cards, 12 Miracle Dice, um, which on here, they kind of just look like regular dice. Or they're, I don't know if they're almost got a silver card. It would be cool if they like if they were just like silver dice. That would be kind of cool for like Miracle Dice, but I don't, I don't think we'll get that lucky. Um, Alright, and then we have Adeptus Sorority transfer sheet. It includes 25 Citadel miniatures, cannons. 10 Battle Sisters, 5 Seraphim, 1 Repenta Superior, 4 Repenta, 3 Arco Flag Flagurants, Flag Flagurants, uh, and 1 Penitent Engine. Um, yeah, 
Okay. So we have over here, so on this side obviously bases over there. Um, let's see, they're all on looks like all 32 with a couple bigger ones, I guess, for the characters. But I guess this is the three up armor saves. We're gonna have the 32 mil base. Um, oh, yeah, just regular white dice. There's our there's our miracle dice, just a bunch of regular dice. Um, which, I don't know, that's too bad they didn't have, like, even the, uh, the new, uh, dice that came out for them. The special dice. Um, so we have these, so I'm gonna actually open these, because I'm not sure why they're, what these two packs are. I'm assuming one is gonna be, like, uh, yeah, I don't know why my camera, like, wants to keep the autofocus on it is, like, super sensitive so i guess no super sudden movements and it should stay focused i to be careful with this so i don't scratch up the box at all um, i don't really have fingernails to really dig into things and i don't let them grow out enough I'll just throw that down there for now all right so let's see here this one this one has got just kind of like the Sisters of Battle, uh, oh, what do you call that? I can't remember. The Musketeers had it, the f it's like a Fleur to something or another, I think. Alright, so let's see, just like some tactical objectives. Yeah, these are all just the tactical objective cards. Okay. The box is a little... A little beaten up a little bit, but don't go too crazy. Okay. Get them all down in there. Okay, and then this here will be Sacred Rites, Stratagem. Stratagem, 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 stratagem. A lot, a lot of stratagems, stratagems. Okay, so all stratagems. Oh, okay, we have Adeptus Sorata stratagem, and then here, kind of near the end, we've got Order of Our Martyr Lady ones, Order of the Valorous Heart, Order of the Bloody Rose, Order of the Evan Chalice. Order the Argent Shroud and Order the Sacred Rose. That was the Bloody Rose one that supposedly has a pretty good one. Uh, use a strategy in the fight phase when order the Bloody Rose unit from your army is chosen to fight with until the end of that phase when resolve an attack made with a melee weapon that model in that unit as a one to the wound roll. So they get a plus to their wound roll. Now um, I have a small 9th IO-10 Gargones, uh, Scions Force, that was my, I actually had a whole army of it at one point, which, again, I sold, but I kept a small, fo uh, force of them, I've kind of used them in Kill Team and stuff like that, but I kind of just kept them around for sentimental sake, um, but their backstory is they fought alongside, um, a, uh, minor order, of Sisters of Battle from, they're called the uh, Order of the Glowing Chalice, um, which is supposed, uh, supposed to be a offshoot of the Ebon Chalice. So um, they have the Cleansing Flame Stratagem. Use this stratagem when an Order of the Ebon Chalice unit from your army fires Overwatch or is chosen to shoot with until the end of the phase. Uh, do not roll to determine the type characteristics of flame weapons that unit are equipped with. They have their maximum values. Heavy D6 weapon makes six shots. So, um, so flame weapons and Overwatch always are going to get their max shots. So that's cool. All right. So I'll look at those more at some point later. Get an idea of how I want to do this. So my initial thought of the, how I want to build my army anyway. I'm not sure exactly what order I want to go to. Like, I like the idea of going with 
um, the uh, Order of the Glowing Chalice because it goes along with my Iotang Gargones to kind of keep it together. Um, but uh, my kind of, I guess, hang up on that is I have seen pictures already from the Codex here. And I'll, I'll flip through here in a second and find them. Um, of their color scheme and for a, an order has the name glowing in it um, they're like a dark gray like not quite the the black of the armor that you normally see but they have a dark gray armor to them and then like corn red robes or something not it's a or yeah kind of more of a it's a little bit maroon shade uh, of the cloaks than it is kind of the red um, so it's just kind of I don't know, a little frustrating because I thought they would have had either like a brighter color scheme or something more unique than just kind of, it's, I mean, it's basically the same black and red. It's just gray and maroon. It's not much different. Um, so that, that's a little bit of a disappointment. So uh, next we have the Codex, this like limited edition version. Um, and then kind of, you know, the assembly in the back here. And then uh, here is the transfer sheet that comes with it let's see if we can focus on that a little bit come on come on come on can you get there maybe and it doesn't like the glare uh, but anyway so there's that um let me carefully open this So, that's something I want to look at real quick. Interesting. So, this isn't on here. I'm curious. Um, there is this canonist on the back right here um, that is not on the back here um, it's this canonist and it definitely says it comes with only one um, and oh there's canonist right there um, if, I, if we put them next to each other uh, it's not like, I can't tell 100%, but it doesn't really look like it's like kind of an alternate build to it. Um, they look pretty different. Um, so that's interesting. Like, I I mean, I do already have that model. I still haven't even painted it because I wanted to see the color scheme. So I already have this one. Uh, this was from the Nova event where they gave everybody this model underneath the chair at the event. Um... So, that'll be, that's interesting. Uh, but looking at the front here, there it is. So what is up with that? Because, I mean, if I'm going to be quite honest, I like this cannon is a lot better. This one here. And not a big, I mean, that one's okay, but I already have it. And, like, I like this one a lot more, so... Well, what's up with that? Hmm. I'm actually, we'll we'll look into that a little bit more. I'm kind of getting kind of bummed out, really. Can I make a case against Games Workshop for false advertisement? Because that's not. I mean, it clearly says Canon is here. It's not like it's a part of this group here. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Mark of Faith, new Odysseus novel. So we got like a little advertisement for a new novel coming out called Mark of Faith. Um, but that's a really cool art piece right there. I really like that a lot. This would be a cool little like, just put in a frame and have kind of up somewhere. That's cool. I really like that. That's cool. Um, 
Uh, we get our new kind of, you know, slim down core rules and the codex. All right, so I'm going to flip through this, then I'll kind of flip it around real quick for you to see. So, of course, we've got our, our lore and everything. Uh, some cool artwork. So just flipping through real quick. Some more more, and there's that cool artwork again. Okay, here's where we go more into the different orders. Bloody Rose. Evan Chalice. Order of Arden Shroud. So here we go, Order of the Sacred Rose. And then we have Order of Menorahs. And right here is the Order of the Golden Chalice that I was speaking of before. Um, so... As spiritual descendants of the Order of the Evan Chalice, the Sisters of the Golden Chalice are exacting in their standards of faith and martial prowess. They have established a chain of sanctuaries across the core world, that core world portion of the Vidal subsector. They have battled multiple chaos incursions alongside the scions of the Ninth Iotan Gargones. When launching assaults, the Sisters attack with the Terra and Dawn striking. When Terra rises over a war tone world's horizon, though the planets on which the battle they battle are far too distant for the light of soul to reach. The Sisters of the Glowing Chalice still feel the Emperor's illumination falling upon them. <coughs> so some, you know, like I said, cool background. Um, <coughs> I'm very, I'm still very tempted to go with them just because, like I said, I, I'm kind of got a bit of OCD-ness the fact that I have my ninth Iotan. Ninth o Iotan already. I'm kind of like, already want to kind of go toward them. Um, then we either have other uh, Menorahs, Order of the Thorn, Order of the Iron Veil, Order of the Ashen Shrine, Wounded Heart, and of the Golden Light. Now on Militant Orders. Okay. Uh, some maps of kind of where everybody's located. Um, so the Evan Chalice is over here. But it doesn't really say like where the menorahs chat or orders are on chapters. All right, this looks like some newer artwork. You got a primary space marine right there, and iron hands. Cool, cool, cool. Canonis, uh, Junith, Saint Catherine, Celestine. I've got my Celestine. I had this model because I got the triumphant, then I sold them, and then I rebought it. <laughs> Ugh. Isn't that just great? And I actually haven't rebuilt it since I got it. I'm kind of sad because I had a pretty cool scenic base with my um, Celestine. But Hospitalers. The, that Hospitaler uh, model is pretty sweet that they have. Transport vehicles, Exorcist. So yeah, I hadn't really mentioned yet, but we'll get into them, I guess, a little bit. Is uh, what kind of my idea is what I'd like is to have a lot of like Seraphim and the other ones the Seraphims which are going to be a little bit more heavy hitting um, close combat Seraphim type things um, and then run at least three exorcists for some good like artillery support I think because um, I'm I, like I said it's, that's already how I run my space brains pretty much um, currently my star commanders uh, I like having some good long range heavy hitting fire support and then stuff dropping in the backfields and kind of flanking everybody. Oh man, yeah. So here, I mean, here's another picture. I mean, they've, they've literally put them side by side. So you can see um, the differences there. So I'm curious. I'm sure that other one's going to be coming out on its own. Uh, but I'm a little bit... Like I said, like, what the heck? What's up? <laughs> okay, so, just more pictures of everything. Some pictures of stuff we don't have out yet. Um, yeah, we don't have any of these. Well, Hospital is out. Imi Imagifier <laughs> is not. The di Dialogus is not out yet. Right. So let's see. Looking through. 
Okay. So yeah, so here, hopefully you can tell. Um, there is the sister of the glowing child. So that's definitely gray and maroon. Uh, I guess the, the biggest difference with them is the weapons casing is white. Um, yeah. So nothing too crazy fancy. It's not too bad. Now that I see it here, I, I pictures I've seen online were kind of like scans and other pictures. and um, I was kind of like, eh. But it actually doesn't look too bad now that I look at it here. It looks all right, I guess. It's going to be kind of hard to do that white weapons casing, though. It's one thing, like, I find white armor is a bit easier to do. Um, but, oh, yeah, the, uh, what is this, the emulator, em emulator now? With the cool stained glass. Oh, that's going to be such a cool piece. All right, Sisters Repenta. Yep, there we go. The emulator with heavy bolter emulation flamers. Okay, get down. Okay, some more. This is accessory. Now we got all of these. I'm not going to go, like I said, too much into them. The Seraphim Squad. So I'm going to see real quick. Sisters Repenta. Penitent Eviscerator. Oh, that's the, uh, not what I was looking for. <laughs> Where is... Have I not come across them yet? Where's Fast Attack? Image of Fire, Crusaders, Death Cult. Domination Squad. Where's the Zerb? What's a Domination Squad? Fast Attack. I'm going to go back to this. Anybody know what a Domination Squad? Have they shown us what a Domination Squad is yet? Uh, they don't have them on here. Which is also... Yeah, they don't even have any of the... Uh, oh, what are those heavy weapons on this call now? I can't even think. Uh, Retributors. Huh. I'm not sure a domination squad, or not domination, dominion squad. Penitent Engines, Serenitas Rhino, Battle Sanctum. Emulator. Okay. So that looks like that does that. Order Convictions. What do we got here? So if I was to go with Evan Chalice, when a model with this conviction would lose a wound and a result uh, wound as a result of a mortal wound roll 1d6 not 5 plus the wound is not lost in addition when you perform an act of faith for a model or you know this conviction you can discard one miracle die you can you can first discard one miracle dice if you do one miracle dice you use an act of faith is considered to be a six I'm not sure how the miracle dice, I haven't read up too much on these miracle dice thing and how those work exactly. I mean, it's an okay one. It's just, I mean, it's a five up uh, in vol against um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. mortal wounds, which is okay. Uh, let's see what we have here for warlord trait. If this warlord is on the, the battlefield, the miracle dice you gain at the start of the first battle round is a six. At the start of the first battle round, if your army is battleforged and the warlord is on the battlefield, you gain D3 command points. So the first miracle dice, uh, the, if your warlord is on the miracle dice you gain at the start of the first battle round is 6. That's again, I'm not sure what that is. So you get 6 miracle dice. And then at the start of the first battle round, if you're battleforged, you gain an additional D3 command points. That's kind of cool. Some relics and point values. Okay. Well, that's kind of a brief 
look through the codex. Let's jump into the models. Okay, so that's just a standard thing there. And what do we have? Well, here's the Canonist, and it's definitely the one that I've already got. Alright, well, maybe the other one's in here, which it looks pretty hard to tell. So it looks like we have uh, three screws all together. These are an exact mirror of each other. Um, yeah, kind of line these up. So you get two sprues that are exactly the same. Uh, definitely not multi-part though. Um, like I said, just looking through here, because they've got to mix with the Ar Arcro Flagrants and Repenta and the other Seraphims. And so yeah, so definitely not um, uh, multi-part. So no hand flamers or anything like that, unfortunately. But I mean... Gotta figure that at this point when it comes to box sets. They're cheaper for a reason. Which is something I actually want to look into next. But uh and then here we have uh penitent engines and just a few more parts of things. Um and then what's this one called? The uh Repenta Superior. Um but yeah, what's up with the canonist thing? I am not excited about that. That's uh, I don't know, kind of crappy, really. Let me look here. Yeah, I'm like the biggest thing I'm kind of trying to look for is that like or whatever that crossbow. I can't remember what it's called. They have like this crossbow weapon. It definitely wouldn't be on these sprues because these are identical. So if it's going to be on anything, it'll be in this one. Um, what else do we got that can kind of show me? Backpack with a pretty ornate thing on it. And, uh, yeah, there's not. What a epic bummer. That is no fun. <sighs> Man. Hmm. The only thing I'm wondering now, like, I wonder if there's enough heads where if I wanted to, I could give everybody a helmet or not. I definitely like the helmets better. Um, my guess is probably not. I'm pretty sure there's exactly enough bits and bobs and whatever for exactly helmets and whatever. So... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of get a rough idea here of what we're looking at for like kind of price comparison. Um, obviously, they don't have like a special edition codex on here right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add this one and we'll just see kind of what it ends up looking like. So we're going to add in the, that. We're going to also add in um, the data cards because they come with it. Um, and then we have one 10 man squad of uh, battle sisters in here, or sisters of battle. Okay, so we got that. Now, the tricky thing here is they don't. Let's go down to view all, right? Is that on here? Yep, view all. So they don't have everything on here yet. Um, so it's kind of hard to say. Uh, what the full price is gonna be like right now we're already at 125 and we only got uh codex data cards and then um one squad now we have the fla flagrants or whatever on here um but these only contain three and this is what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um Let's go to calculator. So fifty dollars divided by ten. I don't know why I would do that. <laughs> it's five dollars. Okay. So we're at one twenty-five. 
right? And we're going to add ourselves 15. Um, and then we have pendant to engines or 60. We have one pendant to engine here, so we'll add 30 for that. Okay, we're up to 170 right now. Um, I don't think we have a price on the Repenta at all. Um, and you get four of them and a Repenta Superior. So we could say that's probably going to be a squad right there. That's five. Um, so if they come in a squad of five, we can maybe compare that to, where are they at? Uh, are they not on here? Where's the heavy weapon squad for the Sisters of Battle? There they are. This is kind of the way. The Retributor squad. So, these are five models, but they have a lot going on. So, my guess is these are probably going to be somewhere about $50. I don't know. And then we have the Seraphims as well. Um, these multi-part kits, I'm, honestly, they'll probably be about 55 as well. Um, since this is 10 and 60 and this is 5 and 55 so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume these might be 50 but I mean I'm gonna say these are 50 and these will be 50 so that's gonna be another or 55 so that'll be 105 okay so and then we don't have the canonists on there yet. And the hospital is 35, so we can assume that the canonist is probably going to be 35. All right, so we have the canonists, the um, battle sisters, seraphim, repenta superior, and the four repenta, the flag urines, and the penitent engine. So on this here, it says it comes up to 310, and this sold for 210. So about a hundred dollar saving, um, which isn't too bad. Um, I mean, of these things, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use much of the stuff up in this area here. Um, let me flip back over real quick. So, um, yeah, so just looking at the stuff on the back here, um, I'm not sure how much I, I'm really going to use these through here. I'm um, just, again, because of my play style, I'm not sure yet. I, Obviously, no, I'm going to use these and the Seraphims. Um, the, the Repentas, maybe. I could see myself wanting to run some of them. I just don't know about these guys. Not not because, like, uh, that they're necessarily going to be bad. I'm just not a big fan of the models, really. Um, I kind of like the idea of just having, like, a full just Sisters um, army. And that's kind of why I have a little bit of aversion to the Penitent engines as well. Um, I, I mean, I can see the benefit of them for close combat, the heavy flamers and all that, um, can do a lot, but I kind of want to just keep it sisters, um, and kind of keep all the, uh, penitent and other servo, or the, uh, I don't know, what, whatever you call them, um, uh, servo slave, uh, in pen, whatever they are, the prisoners and stuff, kind of out of it, so, I don't know what uh, I'll end up with exactly but I do know I'm very happy at least though I was able to get this set um, like I said I uh, it's one of those things I, I'm probably not gonna get to it right away I, I do want to get to it as much as possible but I mean it's there's a lot of stuff coming out right now and I'm I'm still getting caught up with my star commanders in general with just the purchases that um, need to be made um, but uh, yeah, because I think it's the, the um, what is it, the Exorcist, I think, is like $80 or something like that. And I want to get at least three of them. So, I mean, that's that's a crazy amount of money. <laughs> so, um, all right, well, that will be the end of this one. So, hopefully you enjoy that. Um, like I said, I'm definitely happy that I was able to get a hold of this. Um, and let me actually shift this up. Well, again... Uh, Thanks for watching. Hopefully you uh, found that entertaining at least and had uh, got a little bit of the insight. Oh, I forgot to put all this stuff back in um, as to kind of how I feel about some of the things in it. Uh, very disappointed about the canonist thing, though. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, yeah, don't know. Um, and then 
Uh, but overall, I'm, very, I'm just very pleased. Can't wait to get these things going and started. Um, it's one of those things, though, where I, I do want to look at it. As much as I want to run, like the kind of what I said before with the Exorcist and then the Seraphims and stuff coming in, um, I feel like I should, I should probably break away from my comfort zone and not play another army the exact same way I play my other army. Because, I mean, that's exactly the same tactics I use. It works very well. Um, but, I mean, that can be kind of boring playing the same thing over. So, um, I may be looking at kind of different ways to maybe run this army. Um, and like I said, break away from my comfort zone a little bit more. So, all right. Well, with all that being said, um, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely check out the rest of the channel, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate a subscribe. You know, my goal last year was to hit 500. I definitely did not make that, um, but I'm hopefully um, slowly can make that. I, th I think that's definitely reasonable with it within this year. If not, um, hitting a thousand is my like one of my ultimate goals not the end goal that you know it's one of those things you always set the bar higher and higher and higher um but i think you know i think a 500 goal for the year with the hope of my other goal of a thousand um are, are kind of like my hard gates anyway <laughs> all that aside um definitely check out my facebook page as well um, i update that pretty regularly with all different kinds of products uh, projects and things i'm working on and stuff over there um, so you'll find that stuff down in the link below. Um, so, yeah. Again, thank you again for watching, and until next time.